On May 31, 2024, Luxembourg made a groundbreaking decision by approving a 2.6 billion euro investment to modernize its armed forces. This move highlights Luxembourg's commitment to NATO and the European Union, with the plan passing by a significant majority in Parliament. The ambitious program includes the acquisition of state-of-the-art combat vehicles, aimed at enhancing the country's military capabilities and strengthening cooperation with Belgium. The modernization package consists of 16 Griffin multi-role armored vehicles, 38 Jaguar armored reconnaissance vehicles, and 5 Serval armored reconnaissance vehicles. These additions will complement the Command Liaison and Reconnaissance Vehicles, or CLRV, which were added to the Luxembourg Army's fleet in 2022. The new vehicles will replace older models, such as the Dingo and Hummer, marking a major step forward in Luxembourg's operational readiness. By 2025, these vehicles are expected to be fully integrated, aligning Luxembourg's military assets with those of Belgium and France through the French Scorpion program. This move aims to ensure seamless interoperability and boost joint mission capabilities. A significant aspect of this investment is the formation of a binational Belgian-Luxembourg Combat Reconnaissance Battalion. This unit, which falls under the Scorpion Initiative, will have its headquarters in Arlon, Belgium, with detachments in Dykerch, Luxembourg, and marquéen femen Belgium. This collaborative effort emphasizes the two countries' shared commitment to regional security and their active participation in NATO's collective defense strategy. Luxembourg's armed forces, although small with approximately 900 soldiers, are built on flexibility and strong international partnerships. The army structure includes two reconnaissance companies, one integrated into Eurocorps and a Belgian division, and the other assigned to NATO's deployable forces. This demonstrates Luxembourg's active role in multinational defense operations. Economically, Luxembourg is among the most prosperous nations, with a GDP estimated at $85.76 billion in 2023. Yet until recently, its defense spending has been modest, accounting for only 0.58% of GDP in 2022, the lowest among NATO allies. However, Luxembourg has pledged to increase defense spending to 1% of GDP by 2028, with an ultimate goal of reaching 2% of GNI by 2030. This shift comes in response to increasing geopolitical uncertainties. Currently, the Luxembourg Army's arsenal includes 48 Dingo 24x4 armored vehicles, providing significant mobility and protection for reconnaissance missions. Anti-tank capabilities are bolstered by MANPAT's NLAW and tow missile systems, adding effective defense against armored threats. The Army's artillery component includes 681mm mortars, supporting indirect fire operations. The newly acquired Griffin, Jaguar, and Serval vehicles will greatly enhance the Army's tactical mobility, protection, and battlefield communication. These systems are designed for versatility, enabling operations in diverse environments, from reconnaissance to urban missions. Enhanced communication technologies will ensure better coordination and safety for troops on the ground. This modernization effort underscores Luxembourg's strategic intent to strengthen its military role within NATO and the European Union. Defense Minister Eurico Bacchus emphasized that this investment signals Luxembourg's dedication to equipping its armed forces to meet the challenges of today and the future. Through this initiative, Luxembourg positions itself as a reliable and proactive partner in collective defense, ensuring that it remains prepared to face the evolving security landscape of the 21st century. In making this significant commitment, Luxembourg demonstrates that even smaller nations can play a vital role in enhancing regional security and contributing to the collective defense framework.